Stay safe out there. Pandora feels a lot smaller when you've got people looking for you. You know, her shield's just sitting over there. I mean, if she's not a bounty hunter, what does she need it for? <laughs> Finders keepers, right? Athena! Thanks! Is that your shield? Mm -hmm. Nope. Be sure to stop up at any of my catch a rides if you need anything! I got them popping up all over Pandora! The signs would point to yes. Whoa. This happened pretty recently. Within the last hour, I'd say. Think the guys did this? It'd be pretty impressive if they did. Oh, look at these scorch marks. Oh, must have been grenades or some type of control explosion. Reese and Vaughn. No way, they don't have this kind of firepower. So do you think that whoever did this is down there right now? I have no idea, but let's be careful. And Lance. These guys are serious badasses. This is Athena's handiwork. Starting to think we might have just gotten lucky with her back you there. Do what we tell you to do, or you die. Simple as that. Well, yeah, but it seems like you're gonna kill us anyway. Shut up, smartass. Oh, that's not good. What are we gonna do? We're all gonna be nice and cooperative, aren't we? Not cause any problems, right? Well, go in guns blazing. Lots of screaming and yelling. Maybe with the echoes in this place, they'll think... Well, who do we have here? Recent Vaughn's new little playmates, right? I think one of you owes me a key. Hey, August! Look who finally showed up for the party! Oh, crap. Vasquez? Vaughn? Reese? Didn't think you'd given me the slip now, did ya? You didn't think I'd have August handling all my dirty work, did you? There are some things a man just does himself. Oh my god, I am so sick of this. Would you just screw off already? I bet there are loads of other people on Pandora you could be tormenting. True. But none of them have the Gordis Core. Loaderbot! Arm weapons or something! Uh uh uh. Uh, huh. Come on, guys. You didn't think I'd come all the way down here before grabbing a universal remote, did you? What? The Gordis Project, the two halves of the core, everything leading to a vault. We got it all. Checkmate, amigos. I am shame. <laughs> What'd you think, Reese? That you could pilfer something from my toy box, no strings attached? You never could follow through. That's your problem. And that's why I beat you every time. Hugo, listen to me. Fiona, Sasha, even Vaughn, this isn't their fault. This all comes back to you and me. I stole the money. I stole your deal. Everything that's happened up till this point is about me trying to screw you. So let's just 
You and me work it out. Work it out? Work it out? I'll work you over, you little asshole. Oh, you guys got to believe the dream I just had. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what the hell is this? Didn't I just do this with this guy? Kiddo, I admire your consistency, but, uh, God. Oh, and who is this princess? Wait, they... Dang it! Ah, son of a... Shock other people. Oh, yes, I knew about that. Um, don't touch the cores, August. Thanks for the heads up. <sighs> Jackass. They're gonna have to do it for us. You'll cooperate, right? Because I figure if you don't, well, I... I can think of all sorts of things to do to your little friends. We don't even know how these cores work. Yeah! We barely even know what this Gordas thing is! Fair. I vote we figure it out all together. Two always, two halves. I'll, uh, take my soon-to-be-dead janitor here. You take Miss Fancy Hat down the other one. Boys, you keep an eye on these two. Especially this one. Don't believe a thing she says. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, you sit tight. Get your hands off me! Either of those two move, you shoot them where they stand. Ace, I'll admit it, you and uh, Vaughn have impressed me, and that sort of thing doesn't happen often. I'm surprised you've made it this far. I, uh, Hugo Vasquez, Hugo Vasquez, there's, there's something I remember about this guy, what the hell really? is Really? It? It's unbelievable. You must have had some sort of help. Couple of death jockeys like you. I'd say it was 50-50 you'd survive the landing. My friends are out there. Okay, they're the reason. We actually... Oh, we actually make a good team. Oh, that's sweet. And now you're all gonna die together. <sighs> I guess so. Bummer. Just when you were making friends. I mean, you might think of me as a self-made man, and for the most part you'd be right. But there was this time when I looked up and admired one man in particular. The most impressive person He's I've gonna ever say done. me. Handsome Jack. You idiots always say me. Still can't figure out who he is, though. We had this special rapport. He would do this thing where he would punch me in the face whenever he'd see me. It didn't matter if he was busy. He always made time for me. No, still nothing. I punched my mom, for Christ's sake. Just boom, right in the kisser. I was drinking from a mug when he got me one time. I hate to break it to you, Vasquez, but what... You're describing you don't get it. You, you don't get it. You don't. The point is, I was his punching bag. Oh, man. He thought we were exclusive. That's adorable. I miss our time together. Ah, this drives me crazy. It's right there. It's on the tip of my But throat. through me, his legacy carries on. you get paired up with an asshole like Vasquez? No, he's not so bad. He's just a little dumb. Valerie, the woman I work for, she's got a lot of contacts up on Hyperion, Vasquez being one of them. Problem is, we tried to cut her out of the deal. Hmm. Obviously, that was a bad idea for a lot of reasons. The fact that the vault key was bullshit being first and foremost. Well, Valerie found out about it, so now we've got to convince her that whatever comes out of this room is worth more than the $10 million deal we tried to slip under her nose. Then, hopefully, she doesn't kill us all. She ever talk about me? What? Sasha, did she ever talk about me? You guys are sisters. I figure you'd talk every now and again. Nope. Not once. Huh. That's a little disappointing. Look... I just want you to know, as far as you and I are concerned, 
There's no hard feelings. That is so generous of you. I'll think about that when you shoot me in the back. Come on, don't be like that. You're the one that hustled me, remember? And that, you see, is what I was trying to provide for you. Some guidance, some mentorship, a father figure. I was trying to help you. The janitor gig, it was to test your mettle, your resolve. And I gotta say, you reacted with some balls, kid. Some big old balls. You see, Reese, I started at the bottom, and I worked my way up. I, uh... <laughs> I used to be in the mailroom. Whoa, wait a minute. Wallet head! That's where Jack found me. <laughs> he used to be bald and he was going through these hair implants and, and, and I didn't, it would stick money to his head. It was, <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, but it was a long time ago. A ask him about it. He'll tell you. Ask him about it. <laughs> Go on. Go on, seriously. But that's ask a pretty him. big difference. Hey, hey, c come on, I'm, I'm handing you comedy gold here. You, 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 what, are you gonna ignore this? Listen, uh, wallet head. W w wallet head? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I appreciate the advice. I, I, I do. But I'd much rather you take your two cents and shove them into your wallet that you have on the back of your head that you are ashamed of because you are a wallet head. I... I was trying to be nice to you. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, that's good. Oh, when that's I take your corpse Thank back you up to Helios, I'm gonna make sure they save me some of your skin to make a wall out of. Whenever I see it, I'll remember the look on your face at this moment. Whoa. That's legitimately creepy. some reassurances that it was just about the money and nothing else and relationships have to be built on trust i don't know if i can take sasha back without it how do you even start a conversation like that at this point i assume she's just embarrassed august you're pathetic so you're saying i shouldn't take her back hey we all make mistakes i've certainly made my fair share who am i to judge you're pathetic yeah i heard you the first time well, here we are. Go on. Stalling won't do you any good. 